gonna end up find the next movie review of the first blockbuster of the summer. I know technically it's beginning in May, but that's when the movie uh, summer season starts. And this next one off the bat, it's gonna hit it for a home run. It's Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, uh, which is the third in the series. Um, give you a little bit of backstory. The movie is about uh, still reeling from the loss of Gomorra. Peter Quill rallies his team to defend the universe and one of their own, a missing that could mean the end of the Guardians, if not successful. Uh, this is the third one of the series. Um, all of them has been great. Uh, this one was also great. Um, this one is more darker than the previous ones. This one is um, directed by James Gunn, um, who's known for uh, the previous Galaxy of the Galaxies. Um, he also did Slither Movie 43. Um, he's more known for Guardians of the Galaxy, of course. Um, it has all the original cast in it, uh, Chris Pratt, who plays Peter Quill, Zoe Zanima, who played Gamora, uh, Dave Bautista, who played Drax, Finn Diesel, who plays the voice of Groot, Bradley Cooper, who plays the voice of Rocket, Carrie Gillen, Nebula, who plays Nebula, Palm, Ke I know I'm going to mispronounce her way, Palm Calamy Neef, who played Mantis, Elizabeth Detchi, who played Anastase. Sean Gunn, who plays Kron. And then, of course, we have um, some new uh, Sylvester Stallone, who plays Stalker Ord. And Ron Poulter, who plays Adam Warlock. And then, of course, the villain in this one is Chuck Wall Luigi. Louis? I know I mispronounced his name, sorry. Uh, he plays the High Evolutionary. Um... This one is more darker than the previous, uh, previous, um, Guardians of the Galaxies. Um, this one is PG-13. It's about two and a half hours long. Um, so if you're going to watch it, grab some popcorn, grab a soda. You're going to be in there for a while. Plus with the previews, another 20 minutes. Um, it does have end credits, two credits at the end. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You, you watch it. My opinion, it was the weakest and credits I think I've seen in a Marvel film in, in a while. The last credits after, you know, during and after. Um, but the story itself, very dark, very good. It shows the backstory of, of uh, Rocket, where he came from and how he became who he is. Um, so there's a lot of flashbacks from previous, from his, from his life. Um, you know, if you have, have not seen volume one and two, you could watch volume three and still get the, the gist of the film. But it's better if you see one, two, and three together. Um, and of course, there's a lot of gun battles, a lot of fight scenes. That's why it's PG-13. If you can see, we seen it in IMAX. And it looked great in IMAX. It looked phenomenal in IMAX. Um, I do got to check it out on Adobe because, you know, Adobe is my... Uh, premier best surround sound sounds you know theater I love Dolby I always do and always will so I gotta check it out on that um, but in IMAX it was great the, the, with the the uh, special effects with the the the, the battles the, the fights the gun battles the s blow crap up you know you really get the gist of it in IMAX you feel it like it's you're right there um now, being this is the first film of the summer, there's be a lot. Of, it's gonna start for a lot of sequels this year. We have a lot of sequels coming out this year with Transformers. You know, um, we had Evil Dead came out. We got Fast and the Fast and the Furious, Fast Five, which is the next big one. We'll have the review on that when that comes out. But um, this start the this start the the summer off season great. Um, it was a good action film. Uh, it was funny. It had some funny. Funny line by everybody. Um, I thought the villain was pretty good. Um, does have a he has a Robocop feel to him as the villain, uh, but not he's not a good guy like Robocop was. Uh, has that he has the evil feel of a Robocop. Um, the supporting cast was great. 
Um, I think who stole the show mostly was Ro- uh, I think Rocket. Uh, Chris did a great job as he usually does. Zoe did. Dave Batista. They all really did a great job. I can't really pinpoint too many people who stole the show. They, they all had their equal parts and they all uh, did great. Um, they all had the great chemistry. Now, will this be the last one? Who knows? I'm not going to tell you if it is or not. You'll find out when you see it. Um, but if you like the previous two, you would definitely like this one. Um, I would say it's hard to rate it, have a rated one, two, or three, but it's good. Um, I'll probably give it a, a B minus as my uh, uh, rate. It is a little teeny bit too long. They probably could have cut out just a little bit, not too much. Uh, the runtime because you figure two and a half hours is a long time for a film, but um, overall you definitely would like it. You don't miss it. Check it out, you know, and get ready. This is the first film of the summer. We got a lot of film ahead of us. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment below. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Entertainment Finds Preview Tubes. Um, of course, like us on Facebook, King Room Entertainment. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, so our Facebook. Uh, keep checking back. We'll have a lot of new reviews up this summer. Um, and hope to see you at the movies. Enjoy. Remember, stay for the end. And let me know what you think about the last two credit scenes. I thought it was weak, but you may like it better. Let me know. Comment below. Enjoy the film. See you the next one. <laughs>